Suzuki GSX-R 600 on a 97 plate. Uh, there's a lot to say about this one, so I uh, hope I can remember it all. Uh, he's had a lot of, lot of work done to this. Um, I do like these uh, colour rep jobs, not just because they sell well, which they do, uh, but if someone's going to go and spend £900 on the spray job, let alone all the other bits it's got on it, it shows that they care about the bike. So that follows that this, uh, regardless of what you see on the outside, on the inside, they, they, it's not going to be likely that they, they look after the outside and then don't give two hoots about the inside. So what you see on the outside reflects on what's going on inside and that's got to be good. So anyway, let's get up close and personal. It's got a brand new pair of boots on it, virtually. Um, I do measure them <coughs> and uh, normally talk them over on this these videos, but uh, I have measured them and left a piece of paper upstairs, the, the PDI list that I do for it. Uh, but they're virtually brand new. So, uh, I mean, maybe a couple of hundred miles. I mean, there's tons of life in there. You probably still see a couple of hairy bits on there. Um, it's a Michelin Pilot on the front there. Uh, right, let's go around the rest of it. Front guard is all good. No, no damage, I'm saying no signs of any damage. No damage on it. Fork seals, they're all good. They're not weeping, not leaking, not seeping. Discs, yep. They totally no lips on those at all whatsoever. You've got your six pot um, Takiko calendars on there which I don't think are standard on this model. So uh, again, he spent some more money on getting those six pots put on there. Uh, don't hold me on that one, but I do believe they're just your standard double pistons. So it's got six pots hauling you a stop from the front. Um, paintwork is, well, it is a really good paint job. And graphics there. Uh, probably the worst bit is it's got a little mark missing out of the uh, yellow uh, pinstripe in here. The guy hasn't tried to put another piece on there. Uh, got a piece missing out there. It's got a tiny little mark on the end of the fit. He hasn't tried to touch it up. Um, it's got the tinted double bubble screen on it here. Uh, he's got these loads of these carbon effect stuff. Well, may even be genuine, I don't know. It's, uh, don't look plastic, so maybe carbon fibre mirrors on it there. They're all good. It's got these carbon fibre air intakes on both sides. Uh, again, nice little touch. Show you spending money on it. Um, then I look up for the uh, end of the brake lever, handlebar weight and mirrors to see if there's any signs of any slide damage. There's not. It's got crash buns on it anyway, but uh, you can even still see the white print on there, so that don't know where. Obviously, this would take it before the fairing would do. No damage, no scratches, no dinks whatsoever on the fairing. He's got rear sets again, probably two and a half hundred quid's worth of uh, rear sets that he's put on it. So these are infinitely adjustable wherever you want. Um, the lever and the peg. And indeed, the pillion peg are all fine. No signs of any slides there. It's got a Yoshimura exhaust, which sounds the business. And it's carbon fibre again. And that would cost a packet. Uh, left hand seat panel. Showing no signs of any scratches or slides on that. The driver's seat here. Uh, no rips, no tears. Pillion seat. No rips, no tears, no bits missing from it. The tank is all good. No dinks, no dents. It's got a zip protector on it there. Stop the tank bit scratching the jacket. Coming down to the rear boot. Skipping down here. I say you got your Michelin pilot on the back there. It's done a couple of hundred miles or something like that. It's uh, got a pair of tyres. God knows what they cost now. 240, 240 quid set of tyres, they're good. Right, come around to the left hand side, which is a mirror image of the right hand side. No damage. I mean, my job here is to point out if there are 
any scratches or dinks or dents if there aren't then obviously I can't point them out but there is none there's your left hand side of your rear sets it's all good and your left hand pillion peg again if it went over you would see uh, uh, the remains of slide damage there left hand view of the tank see no damage left hand side of the fairing and the engine cover they're all good but again because you've got the crash bobbins on there um, that's going to take it before anything else the uh, left hand bar in weight clutch lever and mirror all in one piece and then finally coming back round to the front here you see the other side of the front guard front disc is all good so uh, yeah I mean this is this has been well 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 looked after in its time it's also got an, uh, an alarmy type thing on there it's got a key up here to go with it and I'm worked out if the battery's flat or whatever but um, it's on there whether or not it works I make no claims it does or it don't but it's on there um, so there we are well, let's have a listen to the recording it. little kid come past on his bicycle and he wanted to rev it up so uh, anyway I shall start it again and then you can listen to it a bit quieter. Dangle this out with God while I pull the clutch lever in. There you go. Get that burbling away there. I'm going to put my hand over the end so you can hear the motor itself. And I think, unless I told you it was running, you wouldn't know. That is as quiet as a church mouse. The engine up is to take your hand off the exhaust and give it some. Oh, what a lovely sound. Lovely sound coming out of there. I put my hand over there. And oh, what a lovely sound that's not coming out of there. That is a very, very quiet motor. So there we are. GSXR 600 1997.